Welcome to Keeping It Simple with Katie. Tuesday, the 11th for the 11th tip on Tuesday of December. Woo! We're going. We're doing it. So today's tip is going to be a quick one because we got a lot of stuff to do. We're doing. We've been doing stuff all morning with moving. It's such fun. Blech. Wish that I could do this tip instead of doing our moving stuff, but hey, it is what it is. So here comes the tip. Tap into your inner child during Christmas. All the time, really, but, but during Christmas especially. So short little story first. The other day, I was at a local store buying some wrapping paper for to wrap gifts. There's a long, long line. There was a lot of children in this line making noise, as children do. They were not being bad. They were just waiting in line as kids. No child waits in line just solemnly, you know. And there's this man in front of me, and I could hear him just getting angrier and angrier by the second with these kids making noise. And he just finally goes, really? And it was like the most passive-aggressive thing I've witnessed in a line in a while. And it was like an older man, you know. It's kind of just depressing. And I really wanted to share this tip with him to tap into his inner child, but I didn't think that would go too well, so I just kept my mouth shut. But it was kind of sad to see all these really excited kids, you know. They weren't bothering anybody. They have a lot of energy. So what? They're little ones. And then this old Scrooge just standing there like he could not be bothered and he was so disgusted by these children that didn't have complete control over themselves. Please don't be that person. Understand. Be a little, you know, flexible during the, the craziness of the season. So anyway, this guy was kind of like wow and really rude and snooty, but whatever. And I just think that, you know, he was probably a kid once, I would imagine, unless he's an alien. And so he has some recollection of what it was like during, you know, to get excited for presents and Christmas and, oh, I want that candy and that candy and that candy. I don't know. I think that for us, it's better to think about what used to excite us the most about Christmas when we were little. Maybe it's still the same thing that excites us now. Maybe it's different. Who knows? Some things that I used to love to do, uh, obviously, we put out cookies for Santa and celery and carrots for reindeer because they love their vegetables. And another thing I did was on NORAD. So NORAD is like the, oh, I don't, North American Radar Defense Center or something like that. And they, I guess they're actually responsible for like, pressing the buttons if nuclear war ever happened. So that would not be great. But I didn't even know that they had that job until maybe a couple years ago because they track Santa every year during Christmas. They have a whole North Pole website and you can watch videos of Santa traveling from place to place. There's games, there's music, there's all kinds of stuff. So go to that website if you haven't. That's a really cool website. I put a link uh, below in the description for it. Also, when we're kids, we can wear crazy things and no one thinks anything of it. Still do that. Own it today, right? I have giant ornament earrings, which I'm going to break out later. I just didn't have time to put them on today. But they're huge. You got, Everyone's got their ugly Christmas sweater. You have those weird headbands, like antlers. People decorate their cars. It's so much fun to kind of do that kind of stuff. And this is the one time of year, well, maybe excepting Halloween. This is the one and a half-ish time of year where you can be silly and dress festive and no one can say anything about it. So... Go all, go all out. Do all you can. That's all I got today. Be a kid. Enjoy it. Eat some candy. Get some energy. And annoy those Scrooges in line. Because they need to lighten up. Have a good Tuesday. And I'll see you tomorrow for tip number 12. Keep it simple.